Welcome back to Urban Style, a dichotomy of inspiration from cupboard to closet. Today, we're gonna be making coconut shrimp. Yes, I said it, coconut shrimp. Honestly, I used to hate any type of coconut meat. Honestly, don't even think I like coconut milk or water, but now it's just kind of slowly trickled in somehow, and I've gotten to the point we're here at coconut shrimp. So, yes, this is gonna be a gluten-free recipe. Honestly, it's gonna be better than Red Lobster. I know y'all are out there still eating Red Lobster. It's okay. Beyonce said it. I know y'all still go, because it's still open but it's gonna be way better if you do in fact like fried shrimp but don't like coconut this is the recipe for you because it's going to change your perspective like it changed mine so hop in the description box down below for this gluten-free egg-free recipe and let's get started cooking hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe so we're gonna make our dredge with our flour, lemon pepper seasoning, Old Bay salt, adobo seasoning. Next we're gonna have our egg or egg alternative and coconut milk in our second bowl. And in our third bowl we have our bread crumbs and gluten-free coconut shreds. Be sure to check urbanstyle.com for the full dredge recipe, but you're gonna combine the three bowls and prep your shrimp. So I butterflied my shrimp, but you can buy them butterfly, but it's easy, just slice them in half with your knife, and you're going to dredge as you see here. Place them on a baking sheet to prep for frying. Next we're going to make our sweet chili dipping sauce. It's super easy to set aside. You're going to get some sweet chili fruit preserves and I decided to add some chili pepper flakes and apple cider vinegar. So let's prep for frying. We have our coconut oil, yes, virgin coconut oil, super healthy, and we're going to test it. You can just pop a little bit of water in there, listen to it crack, <laughs> and that's when you know it's ready. And we're going to fry up our shrimp. About two to three minutes each side is good, and you'll be ready to go. Feel free to try this recipe in the air fryer and spray it with a light oil to serve. And there you have it. Gluten-free coconut shrimp with chili pepper sauce. So that was my gluten-free coconut shrimp. For the full recipe, be sure to check urbanstyle.com. But let's hop into this taste test, honey. <laughs> I know y'all saw that playback, right? Like, the demo is my favorite part of the video, just in case you don't know, but I still try to keep that same energy during the taste test because it's like, we're gonna cook together and then we're gonna eat together. That's, that's the whole point. So, I'm gonna get into this shrimp, y'all. Look at this. Get into the little shrimp. It's gonna focus, ooh! Look at golden brown. What? This this is good. This is a classic, a classic dipping sauce. This sweet chili sauce. Ooh. Look at that Mmm. 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 That's good. So good. With that seasoning helps assist that hardiness of the coconut. For those who aren't a big fan of coconut, use those fine finely shredded coconut decreases that intense flavor as you would get those like thicker shrimp i really just 
like how it fried so nicely coconut oil is really a great and healthy oil definitely check out coconut oil if you are trying to be a little bit healthier but you still love frying food it's okay to fry food you just want to make sure it's healthy and you're not overdoing it so with that dipping sauce is a little spicy if you want to kick it up a notch add in a little bit more of those red pepper flakes also you can kick it up in the spices on the actual flour before you dredge so i put a little bit of old bay but if you want to pop in some more cayenne paprika smoke it up a little bit spice it up a little bit do that see this is a really great recipe and it's super easy honest it's it's literally less than 30 minutes to prep and fry a forewarning this does contain shellfish but it is gluten free and egg free if you all make this recipe be sure to tag urban style on the socials y'all know facebook pinterest instagram tiktok urban style is on tiktok <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and subscribe be sure to share you know what i'm saying share these recipes the urbansal.com platform is really just going to a whole new level so if you all enjoyed this video and enjoy urban style be sure to continue to support but thank you for joining urban style and always be sure to own your style bye